the stopped dovetail housing is just a development on the through dovetail housing which I explained in my previous video which you should really watch uh, before watching this one to pick up on the main parts of the detail. In the through dovetail housing the socket runs the entire width of the one component and so we see the joint on the front edge. In the stopped housing the mechanics are held back from the front face so that the front of the bookcase or cabinet is seen as one solid piece. The joint is not, uh, not seen at all. So looking side on if this is the side of a, say a bookcase and we're stopping it short of the front edge so on our intersecting shelf the dovetail we create on the end is also cut short by the same amount So the front of the shelf will reach the front of the side of the bookcase, the end of the dovetail just staying shy of the housing and the dovetail pulling up tight in the, the wedged shape. Here's the side of the sample piece I made up with the through dovetail on it and we're going to create underneath the stopped dovetail housing. This is the front of the side, so we want to stay back from there roughly half an inch. So I'll knife a line across, stopping half an inch from the front of the, the side. That will be the top of the shelf. We now need to gauge the width of the work, so if I place the shelf up to that knife line, make a little mark, square that across the work, To create the wedge shape of the dovetail, we're going to stay a quarter of an inch up from that line at the front and an eighth of an inch up at the back. So the opening to the dovetail groove will be something like so. Now I knife that line in and I'll also knife the half inch in at the front. To be able to saw out this section, we'll need to chop out at the stopped end a little bit to allow the saw to travel forwards and backwards. On the lower side of the groove, we want to be cutting at an angle to create the dovetail. So we use our guide piece again, put the chisel in the knife line, line up our angle and chop. Now just ensure that we've got 
room for the saw blade to come through at an angle as well. And that should do. I'll just provide a channel to start my saw cut. I score for the depth of the cut for the groove. Using that V, I can now saw perpendicularly for the top of the groove down to depth. Then set up to cut the dovetail edge of the groove using my angle block to align the saw. And carefully saw the angled side of the groove. Then I can waste away the material from the middle After cleaning out all the corners, our stock dovetail groove is complete. Now we just need to make the dovetail end to the shelf. Place the shelf flush with the front and mark the stop in the groove. I leave a little bit of allowance here because I don't want anything to stop the joint going fully together. And to mark for the width of the dovetail, just place it into the groove at the, at the sharp end. Make a little mark. Continue that line down the front of the shelf a little way. Use a marking gauge to mark the depth that the dovetail section has to be. Now we can use a 1 in 6 dovetail marker to mark the end of the dovetail. And that needs to be cut down to the gauge mark. On the back side of the shelf we can mark the depth again with the marking gauge. Place the shelf back in position, flush at the front of the side and again mark the top of the dovetail groove and use the dovetail marker again to mark this end. Transfer the intersection at the, at the front. Transfer the intersection line at the front. Parallel with the bottom of the shelf. Up to the point where the stopped end is. And then draw a line from there to the rear mark. And that's the angle we need to now cut. I'll score it in with a knife. And 
And I always like to leave a little more material on there and we can take a little bit extra out to fit the joint. Use the marking gauge to put in a shoulder line then deepen it and create a V-cut with a chisel saw in the shoulder line and I'm using a, a mirror here so I can see how deep I need to go on the far side then at the vise set the work up the same height as a, a support and then we can put the angle block on and use it as a reference for the back of the chisel place the chisel into the knife line raise it up so the back is flat against the angled block and chop the dovetail work carefully along the line tidy up the inside corner use the marking gauge to mark around the end that's going to be removed and saw down to the shoulder line Flip the work round Create a V on the marking gauge line Sit the saw in and just clean up with a chisel and it's time for an initial fit And I think with a little tap we should get that as far as we want to go. Almost there. And that's it, lovely and flush. And just check for square, and that's pretty good. Having prepared both of the ends of the one shelf for the sample joint, I'll just cut this board in half and then we can glue both of those joints up. Again, can't quite make it pushing.
the stopped dovetail housing. Give it a go.